Hey everyone, my name is Alexander Gargenta. I work for Maracana, an IT training company focused on open source software. And as an instructor for Maracana, I've done a lot of training on Android all the way from the internals to the um, SDK and app development. Um, and in the course of my uh, trainings, I've often come, oftentimes encountered NDK, the Android Native Development Kit, which enables Android developers, you guys, to take advantage of code written in C or C++ and incorporate that code in your applications through the use of JNI, the Java Native Interface. I've actually always tried to stay as far away as possible from JNI, simply because I feel that it tends to introduce a lot of security slash stability problems in the name of performance in my applications. But um, interesting enough, it turns out that 25% of the Android applications on market are written with some form of NDK or written using NDK with some form of JNI. So it is something that uh, every Android developer should le at least know about. So while this uh, screencast is focused on Android developers wanting to learn more about NDK, it's also well suited for those that are simply here to examine what's possible in Android. Maybe they're building the actual underlying uh, infrastructure of Android through building custom ROMs, but they, and they just simply want to understand how the different layers fit together, and they want to understand how JNI works. I hope you enjoy the screencast. So what exactly is the NDK? I'm actually going to navigate to the NDK page on d.android.com as I'm answering this question. So NDK, as I mentioned before, enables us to um, essentially take advantage of JNI, which in turn enables us to write code in C++ and then access it from our Java code base. Now, we know that generally um, Android applications are written in the Java language and they run on top of the Dalek virtual machine. So we'll get to this in a moment, but we generally use NDK in the name of code reuse or increased performance. Now, NDK provides a set of tools um, i.e. a tool chain that enable us to compile our code written in C++ into the different target environments, so ABIs, the application binary interfaces, um, like the ARM v5, v7, or x86, which are the targets that our code base is eventually going to run on. It also provides a mechanism of embedding the native libraries. These are going to be the deliverables of the NDK. This is essentially what the compiled code is going to look like. They're going to, it's going to ship as far as in form of native libraries. And uh, NDK enables us to package these native libraries into our APK files, which is essentially what we'll finally deliver to our target audience to install on their devices. Um, NDK also includes a number of system headers to essentially shared libraries uh, that we can take advantage of and know that these headers are going to be and these libraries are going to be supported in the future. And finally, NDK provides documentation samples and tutorials, um, some of which we'll take a look at as we go through this screencast.